Hi, it's Mike from AskTractorMike.com. As I post this video, it is Thanksgiving Day 2019, and that's an opportunity for me to tell each one of you how thankful I am that you watch my channel and enable me to have a moderate degree of success on YouTube and make a little income from Google and sell a few products and support my family. Uh, I'm thankful I'm able to do what I do. Um, I love being able to help out other people with education and, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I'm able to do this at, at the, in the twilight years of my career. So thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting. And my video today is going to talk about uh, a little bit about somewhat that subject. My mother always said that as long as you have good health, you have no problems. You can overcome any other problem as long as your health is good. And I've been blessed with moderately good health. I don't have a lot of health issues. I, I do have, and, and this pertains to my video today, the start of arthritis in my neck. Uh, last time I had a, a medical checkup, the, the doctor did some x-rays, and I've, I've got a pretty good shot of arthritis. I'm, I'm the guy at Walmart now that just backs out of the parking spot. I don't look behind me. It hurts to turn my neck very far around, and so I just don't do it. I just drive an old car that I don't mind getting a ding on it and have good insurance. So I'm the guy that just backs out of the parking spot and figure everybody else is going to stop or get out of the way. Hopefully that happens. But I, I have a, a, a viewer today that's got a lot worse problem with arthritis uh, than I have. And he, he asked me a question, and I don't really know the answer. And so I'm, I'm looking for some of my folks that have been around. Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give some ideas on this, but I'm looking for my viewers who may have had the same experience as Alan has to provide some insight. And Alan says, I enjoy your videos, and I'd like your opinion if you don't mind. Oh, I'm glad to give opinions. My arthritis makes me sensitive to vibration, and I wonder if you can suggest the lowest vibration tractor that you know of. Older and newer options would be welcomed. Um, I asked him how big a tractor he wanted. He said, I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, he's thinking about, uh, and this is a pretty wide range of horsepower, a 26 horsepower, a 45 horsepower, or a 60 horsepower. And he said, I'd like to, but that won't happen. Low vibration is the most important issue by far. And Alan, I feel for you, man. That, that's, uh, that, that's sad to have, have arthritis so bad that, that just vibration keeps you from operating a tractor. Um, I, I, I really want to solicit input from those of you that maybe have vibration issues and you've, you've shopped for tractors and maybe you can tell me specific brands or specific models that were a lot smoother. I'm going to give you some thoughts today, Alan, on what to shop for. First off, everything else being equal, a four-cylinder engine is going to have less vibration than a three-cylinder. And that's because a, a four-cylinder engine has, has, has four uh, cycles. It has intake, compression, ignition, and exhaust. So with four pistons, there's always a piston at, at, one, at one position in the, in the cycle. And somebody that's an engineering person could probably explain that a lot better than me, but a three-cylinder engine is going to be off just a little bit. Uh, they still work as good, you know, they still work, obviously, but, but they're not going to provide the smooth running that the four-cylinder engine is, is going to provide. So if we're looking for a four-cylinder engine, a 26 horsepower is almost always going to be a three-cylinder. So if you're looking for a, a 40 or 60 horsepower, you're, you're going to have a four-cylinder engine. So that's, that's the first thing that I thought of. Now, the second thing I thought of, and, and uh, I, could, I could open up a real can of worms here. When I was early in my career selling compact tractors in the business, the Japanese products, in my mind, the Japanese engines were smoother than anybody else's engines. And when you look at Japanese engines, that would be what Kubota, uh, Yanmar, which is in, in the Yanmar tractors and deer tractors, uh, Shabaru, which was in the new Hollands and Cases, and they're not now, but, but then, and, um, and Massey's, which had Ezeki engines, and I'm probably forgetting somebody. But, but the Japanese engines were, were oh, oh, and, and um, Mitsubishi, which, which are in some of the uh, Mahindra tractors now. So to me, back then, the Japanese engines, because, I, I don't know, tolerances or design or whatever, exhaust, were smoother running than the Korean-built engines. 
And today, I think the Koreans have caught way up with the with the um, the Japanese in terms of how smooth their engines run. So I, I I don't know that I could recommend a brand, but if you're looking at a used tractor, an older used tractor, uh, to me the Kubotas, the Yanmars, the, the Zekis, uh, and and the Mitsubishi's, those, those Japanese engines run smoother uh, than and, and Shibaru uh, than, than the uh, than the Korean counterparts. So, but if you're buying a new tractor, I don't know that there's much of a difference. Now I'd be interested to hear again what my viewers have to say about that. Now, the other thing we can talk about, and I don't know for sure the answer to this, but does engine RPM and noise dictate vibration? And if you look at different tractors, uh, different tractors have rated engine speed. Rated engine speed is that sweet spot where it makes the horsepower it's rated for. And you're going to have some tractors that have a rated engine speed of maybe 24 or 50 RPM, some at 2600 and some up 2800. They, they, they're all over the board. So in my mind, all things being equal, the lower the rated engine speed, the less vibration, the, the, the slower the engine is turning to get a horsepower, the less vibration there's going to be. And some of you guys that are more engineers than I am can, can address that. The other thing I want to think about is, is uh, there's, there's two things related to how the tractor is built. And, and on, I, I think you're going to find that most manufacturers offer an inexpensive tractor that they advertise in their package deals. And, and those are a pretty bare bones tractor and, and they're going to be pretty rough and, and they're going to have a lot of vibrations. And then their deluxe tractors have some refinements that make the noise and the vibration a lot less. And, and a couple of components of that, a lot of your uh, basic tractors are going to have a, a seat that is mounted right to the frame of the tractor, and that's going to give you a lot of vibration. The higher end tractors all, will have a seat mounted on a spring pedestal, and the springs will take some of that vibration out. Along the same lines, your basic tractors will have no floor mat. The deluxe tractors, if you look at them, have a really, really thick floor mat and that's got to take a lot of that vibration from below out and again along the same lines some tractors are straddle mount in other words the transmission is 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 between your ankles uh, kind of coming up to the operator platform but a lot of tractors raise you up a little bit and you're above all of that and they probably will have less vibration than other tractors so these are just a few things that that you could look for if if noise equates to vibration the easy thing for Alan to do is get a good uh, uh, what do they call them uh, volume uh, can't remember the name of them the, the the meter that measures noise and take that with him when he's shopping and then he could just fire them up run them up to rated engine speed and and hold that at the platform and you'll get a, a number of, of where you are uh, in in terms of noise now does noise equate to vibration again I don't know the answer to that but those are the thoughts I have I thought I'd throw this out today on Thanksgiving uh, if you're sitting around with a bunch of tractor people at, at uh, after lunch and you're watching the football games maybe this is a good topic maybe get everybody's opinion and if you if you think of something I haven't thought of that could help Alan out please post it down below might might help somebody else that's a uh, uh, needs smooth uh, so he's not uncomfortable when he's on the tractor I survive on web traffic appreciate you watching my channel uh, please subscribe by clicking the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching.